give and collect everything and anything directly to and from anyone's and everybody's hand but don't make this mistake of others seven things you should not give or collect directly from anyone's hand you know 10 months ago i made a video that received a kind of widespread attack and also appreciation and that was seven things that no one should collect directly from anyone's hand or give directly to anyone and based on divine inspiration and the grace of god i pointed out about seven things ranging from weapons from to marshes to salt to sand to to shakur ash and so on and so forth with credible reasons based on spiritual information that my guardian angel and almighty god is directing me to and then recently i noticed that that same topic has gained a wide acceptance and widespread among spiritual channels and one way or the other it raises some question in me whether if there is no remedy because i know we in human society one way or the other we are relational being and at one point in time we will stumble and must collect those things even though i gave a remedy that is pinned under the comment section of that video don't worry i'm going to pin that video right in this video so that you understand what i'm saying i gave a remedy but that remedy is for people that who is already guilty of the collection and now you know prevention is always better than cure it raises some a kind of question in me and the in collaboration with the higher powers by god's grace my guardian angel almighty god that works with me is there no remedy in it and lo and behold god gave me direct information that there is the remedy is always there in my channel so what am i trying to say in today's video i wish to share with you that you will be free to collect all those things from somebody's hand from anyone's hand if and only if you have done these things i'm going to point out in this video which is apparently what the videos are already in this channel but before then welcome once again to jenny action tv in this particular channel i discuss three important variables which are actually health safety and spirituality in this particular channel by god's grace based on the fact that we are in era of apostolic and prophetic move god have raised me and given me the mandate to go especially to christians to enlighten them on the fact that the things he created that some are calling diabolical that it is not so that for everything has created have both physical and spiritual use and that when we apply it correctly we will not have any issue because actually according to psalm 82 verses that we are gods all of us are children of most high and also to go to a new testament for those that will say it is not a new testament when you when you get to in john 10 34 we see jesus the bible said there jesus answered them is he not written in your law i said you are gods jesus himself used his mouth and affirm it with that you are gods in other words we are gods and being a god god knows everything god is capable of anything and through those inspirations god also have enabled me to help us on this channel to strategically pray with some of those items and get a powerful result so in this channel we pray in this channel we do spiritual work because there is nothing that god can actually do on this earth without what he has created based on inspiration he gave to me how do i know this even the first miracle of jesus he has to get water that is existing in this earth he didn't come down from heaven with pan basins or containers that that is made by human being and then he has to convert it to wine and then somebody who is a leprica of jesus in the old testament which is moses for moses to be become a deliverer to his generation god asks him what is it that you have in your hand and it has to be the shepherd staff he got from egypt and that is to tell you that one of the ways that god can actually liberate us is actually what you have in your hand and that is why in this channel i teach you how to convert all ordinary things of this world and make it extraordinary because god said that he uses the fully things of this world to confirm the wise so if this is the very first time you are landing in this channel you are highly welcome please 
do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so as to get my next upload for my returning subscribers i love you so much thank you for always stopping by for my new timers you are highly welcome please always share the video give thumbs up and comment and god will always give you everything you ever desire so with the that let's delve right in like i know i i rightly pointed out that there are seven things you should not correlate directly from someone's hand which i made in that last video but today i wish to tell you you will collect all those things but accept this condition now like i normally tell you spirituality is a lifestyle if you have one way or the other you are always doing cleansing and you know i have told you never to bat ordinary water once you come back from your daily routine and the worst thing you will always do to yourself is not to actually take your night bath and i remember that i made it and emphasized it that if you don't put any other thing in your water put either salt or original honey or sugar according to god's divine inspiration you are also protected if and only if you come back at least do a salt bath by god's grace in my next video i will teach you a strategic salt bath that opens every doors and breaks every yoke so if you have been doing it daily don't worry collect irrespective of the negativity you must have gotten it will all be taken care of but towards the end of this video i will tell you seven other things according to divine inspiration that you must not collect directly from anyone's hand but for those ones in that video you have to collect secondly is that i have once made a video of if money doesn't stay in your hand that one way or the other you should mix coconut water milk and original honey like rub it on daily basis in your hand before going out because our life will be flowing with milk and honey knowing fully well that every a kind of energy that comes from the cosmos that enters from every chakras in our body every a kind of point or portals in our body like this middle of our head the eyes the nose the mouth the hands the, the soles of our feet because all of them are open are always summarized in our palm and that is why whatever we use this palm to do matters a lot but if you have made that constant habit of preparing in your special ointment and you are rubbing it on daily basis before leaving you can collect anything you are protected i guarantee you if you don't know how to prepare it i'm going to pin the video right in the comment section i made all those videos in the past because when i was like are we living under fear right now and god made me to understand one thing in book of second timothy 1 verse 7 he said for god has not given us the spirit of fear and of power and of love and of sound mind it seems that that video don't collect or collect you know revelation comes on daily basis don't collect this thing directly from someone and don't give it directly has is a kind of injecting fear into us and my mission in this channel and in this world is not to inject fear in anybody because i know that fear has torment and that is the easiest way that the devil can easily cage us cage our destiny so god has not given us the spirit of fear but has given us the spirit of power love and sound mind now another option is there was a video i made about how you can actually combine anointing oil with this particular cinnamon powder please if you are talking of spirituality and you don't have cinnamon yeah the something is remaining get cinnamon it gives you a, a lot of age you see solomon that is the richest in the bible that up to today no man born of a woman is richer than solomon one of the cardinal things he uses is cinnamon i've taken time to explain a lot about cinnamon in this channel show you where they are in the bible so please don't joke with it i made a video on how you can combine both anointing oil cinnamon and shea butter and make a special ointment that when you are using it no man will ever say no to you so even if you don't have that ointment combination of coconut water milk and honey make sure you do this one i'm going to also pin the video so that you wash it and know how to do it and then be rubbing it every day as you leave your house once you are doing it i am telling you you are protected you can collect give anything you it will not have impact in you except the recent video i've started i made 
And right now, I made part of it in Jenny Action TV. I made part of it in Jenny Global Solution about certain things you will not receive as gift. And the, those ones hold. The reason is this. There is nothing that is actually free in this universe. So when you get those things as gift those particular one that is not supposed to it is going to have some consequences spiritually and the free things actually by the stomach so that is why you have to be careful of what you collect as gift so that is by the way then another thing that thing you can actually do is there is a recent video i made about if you're passing through certain things you know that evil eyes is on you and i talk about those that are passing through attacks in their finances you see lemon lemon have lots and lots of positive vibration i made video about the fact that it's one of the things that should always be in your house nine lemon always in your parlor i made a lot of video about all the spiritual aura associated with lemon and a lot of things you do with it if you can be getting lemon cut it into two and then pour some cinnamon in the front of it and use it to rub on your palm whenever you are going out please collect anything directly from anybody's hand it will not have any impact in you because one way or the other all those energies that is going to be transferred has been waged and blocked so it is only if and only if you did not prepare yourself this way protect your energy that is what i'll call it before leaving your house or before meeting anybody that is when you should not collect those things directly from anyone's hand you can actually go to the comment section and get the video because i'll pin it there and also i gave a once in a three months special cleansing combining of seven different herbs or leaves because Revelation 22 2 actually say that the leaves of the tree is for the healing of the nations every leaf you see existing on this earth is for our both psychological spiritual physical emotional healing and God created them for a purpose and that is why most of the time i take my time in this channel to explain to you spiritual auras associated with different leaves so that you will freely use the gift that god has given unto us so once in every month try to do that thorough complete detoxification of your spiritual environment once you are doing it these things will no longer have effect in you like i told you that every day fresh revelation comes so this is a current truth and current fresh revelation that god has given me in respect to those that video i made 10 months ago that has become a trend even now if you go to titus 1 verse 15 it says unto the pure all things are pure but unto them that are defiled and unbelief is nothing pure but even their mind and conscience is defiled so based on this scripture unto the pure so those things I said that that time that is trending and don't collect directly so long as you are pure when I talk of, of purity tangible and intangible purity purity as you are sanctified by the blood of Jesus Christ purity as from time to time you are doing cleansing on yourself and then some of this spiritual direction I give right now you do it all things are pure for you you can collect you don't have any issue but there are seven other revelational items that you should never give to or collect directly from anyone's hand that i will be exposing to you in this particular video number one is money you may think am i saying you should not collect directly money from anybody's hand no no no, no i'm not saying it left hand <laughs> whenever anybody tries to give money to you or call you are giving money to somebody or you are trying to collect money from somebody with a left hand you are collecting a bunch of bad luck and this is undoing of some people that today their finances are suffering and you are actually thinking that somebody has bewitched you somebody is after your life it may be that singular error in order to betray what i am saying it will be good that we read psalm 118 verse 16 it says the right hand of the lord is exalted the right hand of the lord do it variantly if we are the children of god if god have created us 
in his own image has breathed his energy his strength his vibration in us and said in Psalm 82 verse 6 we are gods like him all of us are children of most high jesus affirmed it once again and that we are gods it means that whatever possession that god have we also have it and what is the implication of this this that our right hand is always exalted have you asked yourself most of the times when i say do some spiritual recipe in this channel i will always say use it use your left palm because left palm is spiritual palm put something in your left pocket because every bad luck comes from the left as far as the right hand is concerned it is exalted and that's why god will always emphasize i hold you by my right hand of righteousness now whenever you are receiving some things especially money with your left hand or you are giving it out with the left hand because spiritually you attract what you are not what you want it is who you are it means that you are transferring bad luck to people and apparently you are calling in for bad luck and likewise people are also giving you bad luck so even if somebody claims that he's a left-handed person please never you collect money from anybody using left hand be so that you will not collect bad luck because something somebody may come to your shop come to your office or have transaction with you and pretend that it's left-handed and giving you, you that thing with left hand you will know that he's making sacrifice that he has been sent maybe by one spiritualist or the other go and give this thing with left hand to somebody give it to a beggar with left hand and so on and so forth just to give away bad luck and you collect it bad luck has followed you something happened in my location a woman a kind of uh, saw another woman that was in a bike and was rushing to somewhere and saw Suddenly, the bag of that woman fall, fell off with some money inside it. And then she was running after the woman to give her that particular bag. The, the bike man carried the woman and ran off. And the woman was like, I don't, I don't know whether this, this woman noticed whether this bag fell. That, okay, let me keep the bag. I've tried my best after all the running and use it. And when he opened it, he saw some means of money inside it, like 15,000 naira. I started using the money. That was the day that woman started having all series of problems that he can never understand where they are coming from family problem business crash may have sickness here and there until she entered into the hand of another spiritualist the spiritualist now told her that that thing was a sacrifice that the woman was asked to make for one reason or the other that she should throw away the bag with money that she too she picked some money and was having problem she was giving it to giving such assignment to do and this woman ignorantly went and collected and then that was how she was asked equally to go and then buy a new bag and put money back and then through which an ignorant person might also go and collect not knowing that it is item of sacrifice and the person have problem so what am i saying when somebody comes to give you money with the left hand and you may think that may, the person is a left-handed person that person may be transferring some sacrifices to you which he has been asked to do in order to collect your destiny or collect luck so please never you give money directly with with left hand to anybody or collect directly even if you're a left-handed person that is number one number two is food don't receive food food is something you eat never you collect food from anybody with left hand probably you have you go you went to a food vendor and the other places that food are being sold fast food joint and whatever and they finish uh, dishing it and trying to give it to you with left hand please don't collect instead if the person claims that this hand is occupied i'm carrying something else and maybe it's carrying food to be served to two people and your own it has to be on left hand tell the person drop it on the table and then collect it from there never you try it when you try it you are introducing impurity into your soul and then you are introducing a lot of negative energy once you eat that food that is how you start having some issues sometimes people go to occasion and eat food and start developing certain problems not because that food was poison or anything shake very well the person that gave you that food might have given it to you with left hand probably because he have food in two hands and is busy a kind of sharing and he did it ignorantly but because that person is carrying a lot of negativity the person transferred don't worry i'm going to bring out and make more video about this left and right hand so that you don't misuse your hand because they are very very cardinal to your spiritual 
journey and once you can use your hands rightly god say you bless the work of our hands everything we lay hand to do prospers another one is number three is religious offering any form of offering that you are going to offer to god never you give it with left hand once you give it with left hand or sometimes give it directly to the hand of the priest you may not get blessings as you ought to reason is this are you can you give god bad luck god has made it that right hand and don't worry when i'm going to do a expose about right hand and left hand you will notice that even the great men of god some of them that did some on the work in the office of priests because when we are doing spiritual work we are simply working in the office of priests they never use their left hand they we are using right hand somebody like moses jesus and so on and so forth so now never you give offering with left hand and instead of giving it uh, to any priest any spiritualist your pastor or whatever it is better you use your right hand and drop it even in the offering box don't even give it directly in the hand and that is one reason why any form of offering whether tangible or intangible whether money any gift maybe you carry some yam a care a living something maybe you want to give a kind of fowl for chicken and uh, maybe cow or whatever you take it to the altar and leave it to the altar not even giving it directly to anybody's uh, hand so that is one item that should not even be exchanged directly to anybody's hand you have to one way or the other drop it at the altar or have an offering box where you drop it even if you have come to the spiritualist to make such offering and then above all if you are in a far place the best is send it through bank account but let there be no transaction directly between you and the priest because you are giving it to god not actually that priest so that you will receive your due blessings and then uh, your course will continue to enlarge again something like gift whenever you want to give gift to somebody maybe you have gone to wedding and you want to offer gift to the couple like the year is coming to an end you wish to appreciate your pastor you wish to appreciate your boss in office or whosoever or they are giving you some form of appreciation one of the best things i do to do is that that gift is not given to you directly exchanged directly in your hands it should be dropped somewhere and you carry but if it must be given never you collect it with left hand and be sure that the person handing over to you is not handing it over with left hand otherwise that gift may become your undoing there are certain things you should never ever receive even as a gift i made that video both in jenny global solution and jenny action tv you can actually get it to know so it's not even everything let alone whether you're dropping it so the spiritual exchange is going on whenever you are giving gift so that you will not in the name of giving physical give and give away treasures that are supposed to be yours and at the end of the day or receive negative energy from anyone so at the end of the day it becomes a problem to you then another one is this you see this holy scripture whether it is bible quran and whatsoever treasure it don't ever exchange your bible make sure you have your personal bible that your personal bible is not like the family altar bible but personal the one you use this by yourself because there are certain special recipe that you do with bible for example writing name of your family members or your name and putting it in the bible have lots and lots of significance don't worry i'm going to make one of those videos in your life and bring transformation now when you are handing your bible over sometimes you come to church somebody will like collect the bible and the one way or the other your spiritual energy is being drained because everything you give and collect is backed by spirit bible is backed by sp divine spirit spirit of god you may actually be giving out your spiritual aura and one way or the other the person collecting it from you have lots and lots of negativity look it's not everybody that knows about spirituality it's not everybody that believes in spirituality it's not everybody that believes in cleansing you are the one who is constantly cleansing yourself you are the one who believes in spirituality the person you are doing this exchange with may not believe may not be cleansing yourself you don't even know the, the action the person finishes before coming to church some of them are coming to church right from their girlfriends or boyfriends friend's house let me put it like that let me keep spouse aside where they have already messed up i know a particular boyfriend and girlfriend that two of them after sleeping together they go to church in the morning and you are giving your 
Bible as a holy thing. At the time, there is something things that Bible called a cost thing. That was the undoing of the children of Eli. They enter into the temple and feel that they can be doing anything when they want to pick meat that is meant for the entire congregation. Instead of just them putting hand to pick, they use fork. They use fork trying to a kind of select the choicest one, and that led to their immediate to their destruction despite the fact that their father is a priest he doesn't really move god because god is not respecter of person and at the end of the day eli died a miserable and shameful death and the wife of one of the sons of eli was pregnant then he has to name the son Ichabod. the glory has departed from israel so there are some people that glory has departed from them and you are trying to exchange your bible holy scriptures or any other scripture irrespective of your religion any other spiritual book with them you may be exchanging something that is not palatable so that is another one another one is certain sacred objects for example egg egg is used for cleansing and egg collects lots and lots of negativity now sheer explanation i made that you can collect anything but once it is egg that you want to use to do cleansing on yourself break covenant remove hardship remove blockages whatsoever you want to use it to do as far as it's cleansing on yourself don't ever collect it directly from anybody and or give it to anyone when you do that everybody have this thing spiritual journey that egg will not work so such sacred spiritual material should never ever be exchanged directly to another other man's hand another thing is something like ritual tools like padlock i made series of videos on how you can use padlock to unlock destiny unlock your finances unlock your life whenever you buy you are going to buy a padlock that you know you are meant to use it to do spiritual work not just the one you are going to use in your house the one you are going to use in your house so long as you take this precaution i explained in the initial part of this video you can actually exchange but when it comes to that one that you want to use to unlock destiny unlock your finances do some special spiritual work never you allow the buyer to give it to you make sure you go to the place you pick it yourself and then come back and then use it without any third party touching it once you can keep this once i've explained to you believe me your spiritual life will always be rosy rosy without any hindrance and obstacle for the other the first video i made 10 months ago you can actually collect if only you have actually taken the precautions i explained in this video all the relevant video i've mentioned will be pinned in the comment section always check the comment section of my videos i pin relevant videos that will help you because believe me god has brought me not just to come and teach you spiritual work no 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 but to train people who are also gifted spiritually because we are in era of apostolic and prophetic move so that you will be able to live in this earth enjoy yourself and actualize your destiny so with this i've actually come to the end of today's video believing that somebody has actually five value if you are one of those why not give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload comment on this video share this video and share it to everyone i shall be helping a lot of people as you do so may god bless you i know you cause it to ride upon the high place of this is still your lady jenny same